Hi, this is Paul. I wanted to make this story time video uh, uh, about, this is my first story time video, and this is about the, a bad case of insomnia that I had years ago. Okay, I remember well, <laughs> and I remember uh, it started around November, uh, November, a few years ago, and I remember normally, like I said, during the weekday, I sleep, you know, I go to sleep same time and wake up and all that stuff, and on the weekends, usually Friday nights, Saturday nights, I stay up later than I normally do because it's the weekend, so I can stay up, and then I usually don't sleep as long as I do on the weekdays. But this time, for some reason, I think I slept, I stayed up a little bit later than I normally do, and I tried to go to sleep that night, and I couldn't sleep, and I said, ah, okay, I'll, 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 I'll be tired, you know, the next night, and I'll, and I'll fall asleep. I, I, I told myself that, but sleep didn't come. Now, normally, I sleep on my stomach. I used to sleep on my stomach, and I could fall asleep within 10, Within 10 minutes, I, I'd be in slumberland, but this time sleep would not come. It still wouldn't come. And I kind of tossed and turned for a few nights, and then I just decided, you know what? You know, I told my sister, I think, and I, I decided, you know what? Uh, she told me that she used to take sleeping pills if, you know, if she couldn't sleep. So I decided, you know, let me do that. So I went and got over the counter uh, sleep medicines. I got all different types, but sleep would not come. I just, I kept tossing and turning. And I, or I, I go to sleep, but I wake up. Like I go to sleep for an hour and then wake up. And then I'd be up for the rest of the night. And I used to dread, I got to the point where I just used to dread going to sleep. It got to the point where I was at work and I look at the clock. I, from where I used to sit, I used to stare at the clock and dread count the hours down until I had to leave work. And then I said, oh, then I gotta leave work. And then I get home and then I look at the bed and look at the bed like the bed was my enemy. And I just would just dread going to sleep. I mean, I would, again, I would take all these different types of sleep pills. Sometimes I take two pills, sometimes I take one pill. And, and I think after a while, I just, it just wasn't working for me. And, and I would be dog tired at work. I'd be just out of it. And this be at a point where you get a little loopy. And I think I was getting a little loopy and my sister could even see it in my face. I remember seeing her and she asked me an update about your situation. I said, this is really, getting to me because I never had a problem sleeping before in my life. I never had problems. Sometimes I I had the very, I was the very net definition. I would fall asleep sometimes, you know, sitting in a chair or something. Or if I tried to stay up late, I'd fall asleep. So I never had a problem sleeping. So that really freaked me out. It freaked me out to the point where I said, you know what? I started reading all about, um, I went to WebMD. I was reading everything I could get on sleep problems, people with sleep problems and what their cure was. I, I think I even ordered some pills from Amazon just to, to try those, those didn't work. And then finally I just went to the doctor and he prescribed me some Ambien. And of course he told me not to, you know, he, you know, take only half of it and not, he didn't want me to get too addicted to it. And he made some suggestions, you know, he said, make sure the room is completely black, cover up any computer, or any cable cl clock or anything that had, that would put light, try to make the room totally dark. And I tried to do that, but it still wouldn't work. And then finally, I think after a while, after being so dog tired, and usually I sleep on my stomach. What I did was I, for some reason, I turned over and slept on my back and laid on my back. And within 10 minutes, I was out. And I had the best night of sleep I had in weeks. I just couldn't believe it. Sleeping on my back, effectively, maybe because I was dog tight, but the next night I did just the same thing again. I had a night, nice, great night of sleep. And again, that seemed to have cured me of that. And now, from now on, I sleep on my back and sleep comes to me easily. And thank, thank God for that because I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I was absolutely miserable those weeks that I suffered from it. And it just, it's a horrible feeling. Again, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But the ironic thing now <laughs> is that um, when I'm tired, I can go to sleep on my stomach, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the long way, the length way. I, I could go sideways. I could lay down with the pillow, and I could sleep that way. And I, I could, I could go, go to sleep. And then I, you know, of course, I'd wake up, and then I have to take off my clothes and go to bed. But, but if I try to sleep on my stomach the long way, I can't do it. It's just I can't. But you know, now I sleep on my back, and thank God. I think even like maybe two years ago or something, I, I thought it was coming back for to me. But thankfully, I got over that, and I the next night I. Again, I passed out and thank God again, because I, again, I would wish this on anybody. Insomnia is the absolute worst and my heart goes out to anybody that's ever suffered for it or who is suffering from it.
That is the worst feeling ever. Anyway, uh, that's it for story time. Let me know if you've suffered from insomnia or if you've known anybody that suffered from insomnia and what are their cures or whatever. And so again, I would wish that on my worst enemy. That is the worst feeling in the world. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram in the description box, as well as my main channel, uh, Trey Passer, in the description box. Please check those out as well. And this is Paul saying so long and take care.